In this video, you will learn how to create a custom bottom navigation with a centered floating action button in Flutter. So let me show you a demo first. Open the app. You will see here a custom bottom navigation with a centered floating action button. You will see here tab 1. When you click on tab 2, it shows tab 2. When you click on tab 3, it shows tab 3. When you click on tab 4, it shows tab 4. When you click on the button, it will go to another page. Click on tab 2 and come back to tab 1. It saves the state of tab 1. When you double click on tab 1, it will redirect you to the first page of tab 1. So, let's start coding. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. We just have 4 files, main, main screen, navbar, nav model. Inside the main screen, we just have a simple app bar. Go to the main file. Set the theme and primary color to green entirely. Then run the app to see the changes. Then go to the nav model file. Here we just have a nav model class. Import the material here. Declare the page property inside the nav model class. And also declare a global key variable called nav key. Add the constructor for nav model inside the constructor parameters called require this dot page and also required this dot nav key then go to the navbar file here we just have a stateless widget declare a page index property here and also declare an on tab pass the properties to the constructor then inside the container widget set the margin inside the child create a bottom up bar set the elevation to zero inside the child create a widget called clay project Set the border radius to 10. Inside the child, create a container widget. Set the head to 60. Set the color to green. Inside child, create a row widget for navigation item. Create a nav item widget. Set the icon, selected and on tab properties. Return an expanded widget. Inside child, create an equal widget. Pause the on tab. Inside child, create an icon widget. Pause the icon. If the tab is selected, set the color to white, otherwise set this color. Create a nav item widget inside the children of row widget. Pause the icon. Pause the page index equal to zero. And pause on tab. Create another item for message. Create a nav item for notification. And finally create a nav item for profile. Save this file and go to the main screen. Remove this simple app bar. Import the navbar and nav model file inside the main screen file. Then declare these keys for navigator state. Declare the selected tab and initialize it to zero. Then declare the items inside the init state method. Initialize the items for each nav model. Pause the page and nav key. Then create a tab page and pause the tab number. And then create another page and pause the tab number. Inside the build method, wrap the scaffold widget inside the will pop scope widget. Will pop scope widget has an event called on will pop. Inside the on will pop, check if the selected tab nav state dot can pop pop the page and return the future dot value false. And else return the future dot value true. Inside the scaffold widget, we have bottom navigation bar. In bottom navigation bar, pause the navbar, pause the selected tab to page index, call the onTap method. Inside the onTap method, check if the index is equal to select tab, pop the page to the first page, and else pause the index to select tab. Inside the scaffold widget, we have a parameter called body. We use index stack to save the state of each tab. Inside the index stack, Pause the selected tab to index property. Inside the children, pause the items and call dot map. Inside map function, call navigator. Inside navigator, pause the nav key to the key. Then call on generated initial routes. Return the material page route and page dot page. Save the file and run to see the changes. You will see here a custom bottom navigation. We have on tab 1, click on tab 2, you see here tab 2, click on tab 3, click on tab 4. When you click on go to page and click on tab 2, 
When you come back on tab 1, you see it saves the state. When you click on tab 1, it will redirect you to the first page of tab. Let's add the floating action button here. Inside the scaffold widget, we have a property called floating action button. Inside the floating action button, create a container widget. Set the container head to 64 and also weight to 64. Set a little margin from top. Inside child create floating action button widget, set the background color to white, set the elevation to zero, call the on press function and print it add button pressed. Inside the child create an icon widget, pass the add icon, set the color to green and set the shape to round it, set the border color to green and set the border radius to 100. Run the app to see the changes. You will see here a floating action button and want it to center. With this property, you can set the floating action button to the center. Let's run it to see the changes. Now you can see the changes. Let's set a little space here. Go to the navbar. With this widget, you can set a little space between two navigation items. Run it to see the changes. Now you see the changes and it looks beautiful. Thanks for watching. If you want to support us, please like our video. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment below.